Alright, so in this video, we're going to learn how to use ChatGPT in Terminal and also this video will be helpful if you're if you're living in a country where ChatGPT isn't supported. So before we get started, we need to make sure that Python is installed. Uh, in order to check if Python is installed, we need to type Python dash dash version and we'll get the corresponding uh, version. So this means that Python is installed and working. So the second thing that we need to make sure to install is open a library and we can use either Python or pip. So the pip is also the command. It's, it's a package manager that comes with with Python. So type pipe or pip install open AI to install to install the OpenAI library and as you can see mine is already installed and after after we install Python and OpenAI we need to go to Visual VS Code and look for this uh, extension so make sure you install this extension and the extension is called OpenAI connect to OpenAI. We'll just type in co open connect to OpenAI. So after mine is already installed, that's why it's not showing up. So after we install this thing, all right, here it is, OpenAI. Let's click install. Although it's not necessary if, if you're planning to use ChatGPT in terminal. So the very next thing we should do is create a Python file. Um, we can create a folder in our desktop and create a file. Let's call it my chat python and put py extension. So the very first line that we need to type in is import the library which is openai. I'm gonna just pay, copy and paste it just to save time. So we've imported the openai library and then we need to paste in the API key that's given by the OpenAI website. To get the API key, we need to go to this URL. I'll also put the link in the description of this video so you can go ahead and create and get this API key. After you, you've gotten the API key, you need to paste it in here. So I won't show my API key but you can basically type it in here. So the next thing that we need to do, the next thing we have to do is choose the model. So the model that's uh, currently used and it's primarily used in ChatGPT is this one. And then we can type the um, question or request. And then let's type prompt. That's a special, a function in Python equals and in in quotes let's type something like what's the best PHP framework to develop a complex web app well that would be, will be basically my question that I'm going to ask the chat GPT and as you know in Python we don't put the sem semicolons at the end of it at the end of this instruction. After that we can type something like model and this is very important make sure you type this thing because this tells ChatGPT what kind of engine what kind of temperature we're we're trying to get so this is basically pretty much what's used by the default in ChatGPT so make sure you just copy and paste it Again, I'll also put uh, put in the description of this video so you can just grab and paste it in your code. And then finally, we need to put this function to get the output from the chat GPT. Let's comment this as well, output or answer. And this should be a comment. All right, we're pretty much ready. And then what we have to do is using this either the terminal that's inside the Visual Studio VS Code or using a uh, terminal if you're on Mac or Linux or using just a command prompt that comes with 
windows so let's navigate to uh, desktop and then Python scripts let's see what's inside and as you can see this here's a file that that I've created just uh, a minute ago so this is uh, chat GPT but it won't work if I try to run this using Python command because the uh, API key is missing so I'll copy and paste mine all right so now let's try to run our script and see what we get so I typed Python and the name of the file that I've just created and see what we got we got a bunch of PHP frameworks that that are suggested by chat GPT so let's try another example let's say let's say something like how to become a better programmer or a web programmer let's save and re rerun the script and see what we get this time it's processing in the background so we got a whole bunch of list suge suggestions that are from chat GPT so this is pretty much how you use it and uh, this helps us to avoid the VPN and if you're not planning to use VPN or if you are in a country where chat GPT isn't supported without VPN this will save you uh, a couple of minutes and this was it guys thanks for watching this video hope it helped you if you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this like this video share it with your friends as always thanks for watching see you next time